Star Wars 7x7 episode 1874. Yesterday we talked about some potential former rebel leaders that might be drawn in to the conflict between the Resistance and the First Order. Today we're going to talk about the indirect possibilities in that regard as I hinted at yesterday. Let's go! Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. So yesterday we talked about the publisher's summary for Resistance Reborn and about how in order to build back up, the Resistance was going to reach out to people who had once been leaders in the original Rebel Alliance, the Alliance to Restore the Republic. And because of the fact that they mentioned Corellia and Ryloth in the publisher's summary, we talked about who that might imply, so that was on yesterday's episode. But as far as Rebel leaders, or former Rebel leaders, who are still alive, as far as we know, I thought I would run down a list of notables here on today's episode. These are people who could potentially show up in Resistance Reborn, and, heck, by extension, the rise of Skywalker as well. So I'm going to start with the civilian possibilities, and number one on that list would be Mon Mothma. Now, as with a lot of rebel leaders, she is getting very advanced in age. At the time of The Last Jedi, she would be 80 years old, and so, of course, we don't know whether we're talking about a one-year, a ten-year, somewhere in between, difference between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, so... Obviously, she's going to be older than 80 at the time of these movies, which, you know, makes leadership certainly a possibility, but actual action is another thing. There are other senators who were part of the Alliance to Restore the Republic, the sort of civilian government, if you will, behind the scenes, that may or may not still be alive, who, as far as we know, survived the events of the original trilogy, but beyond that, we don't necessarily know for sure. And three of those folks appeared in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Noor Jebel is one. He was the Minister of Finance in the Alliance's civilian government. Then there's Vasp Vaspar, who was the Minister of Industry. And then there's Tinra Pamlo, who was the Minister of Education. So that would be examples of civilian leaders in the former Rebel Alliance who could possibly come to the aid of the Resistance as they try to rebuild. From a military standpoint, there aren't many people left. Admiral Akbar is gone, Admiral Radis has since passed away, Commodore Krista Agate died at the Battle of Jakku. We talked about Wedge Antilles on yesterday's show, so he doesn't count. Same with Harris and Dula, so she doesn't count, at least for this discussion. One prominent rebel general who, as far as we know, could still be alive is Carlist Rykian. Yes, that would be General Rykian, who we saw on Hoth in The Empire Strikes Back. According to the canon database, he has not died, and even though it doesn't list a date of birth for him, in Legends, he is listed as having been born in 47 BBY, which would make him a year older than Mon Mothma if they decide to maintain that situation. Now, if you look to the Star Wars Rebels TV series, there are a couple of options there as well. Ryder Azadi, who is the former governor on Lothal, and who led the rebel cell on Lothal for a time. His death has not been established in canon, though he would also be rather old by the time of The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Somebody who would be younger is a character named Mart Matten, who is the leader of Iron Squadron, a cell of fighters that teamed up with Phoenix Squadron and other rebel cells in the course of the Star Wars Rebels TV series. Mart Matten is, of course, a thinly veiled, <laughs> similar name to Matt Martin, who is a creative executive with the Lucasfilm Story Group, but that character is actually rather young at the time of Star Wars Rebels, and so therefore would probably not be so old as, say, you know, the likes of Azadi or Rykian at the time of The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. All right, now let's talk about the wildcard possibilities, because these two groups of folks, if they show up, well, not only do they have a history of helping Rebels, but they could also spill over not just in Resistance Reborn, but into The Rise of Skywalker. And if these two groups of folks show up in The Rise of Skywalker, I think people will lose their minds. And so here we go. First category is the Wookiees, right? 
And Tarful, who is a chieftain with the Wookiees, is probably best known for, along with Chewbacca, helping Yoda escape from Kashyyyk when Order 66 went down. Tarful's death has not been established in canon yet, and Wookiees, of course, live a very long time, so it's entirely possible Tarful and the Wookiees could be involved in the Resistance's build-up again. And as far as the other group of folks who could be involved here, well, it's the Mandalorians. And to try to explain the state of the Houses of Mandalore as we last knew about it in the little time we have remaining, well, uh, <laughs> that's kind of a fool's errand. So maybe I'll do that on another episode. But suffice it to say that a couple of different houses on Mandalore had allied themselves with the Rebel Alliance in the past, and for all we know, would be happy to ally themselves with the Resistance as well, should the time come. So there are your possibilities for Rebel Alliance civilian leaders, Rebel Alliance military leaders, and other wildcard folks as well. Now, there is one last person who could appear in Resistance Reborn that we haven't talked about yet, and it's almost a slam dunk that this person would appear because this person is already slated to appear in The Rise of Skywalker, and I will name that person after the break. Stay tuned. This episode is brought to you by Constant Contact, the premier email marketing solution for small businesses and organizations. I've used their service since 2003, and over the past decade and a half, I've watched them evolve, make the product simpler, more powerful, easy to use, and do everything that they can to help train people to use the product more effectively and for it to work with other forms of marketing like social media, for example. So. Check out sw7x7.com slash email to learn more about Constant Contact and start a free trial. Once again, that is sw7x7.com slash email for a free trial. Welcome back. So, the one person that we haven't talked about yet who is going to appear in The Rise of Skywalker, we know it already. Of course, it's Lando. Naturally, it's Lando. And... It's not a lock that he's going to appear in Resistance Reborn, but consider the fact that Star Wars movies tend to drop us right into the middle of the action, so it makes a kind of sense to have Lando already a part of the Resistance's efforts to fight against the First Order as the Rise of Skywalker begins, and therefore there's a story to tell, a backstory about how Lando came to be involved in the Resistance, how he was recruited into this final effort to repel evil again once and for all, and Resistance Reborn could tell the backstory of how he got involved again. I mean, I'm not saying it's a lock, but it certainly does make a kind of sense. And so, there you go, and that is going to do it for today's episode of the show. Thank you so much for joining me for it, as always, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.